Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today we're going to be going over our first loop, which is a while loop, probably the easiest loop to understand. And then after that we're going to be going over this convert to int32 thing. Uh, if you followed along with yesterday's lesson and try to subtract from age or try to, you know, add or subtract or, or whatever um, on that user data that we received from read line, um, ultimately you'd realize that it doesn't work and that's because you can't you know perform an integer operation with a you know with a string so we're gonna learn how to convert that uh, user data to an integer so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a, uh, an integer int my int and we'll make it five and then we'll do while my int is greater than zero we'll go ahead and See, we'll write it out to the screen. So console, write line, probably the easiest thing to understand would be my int. Okay, my int. All right, then my int minus minus. All right, so that's our first while loop. And it, it's kind of like natural language, you know, just say while my int, which is five, is greater than zero. So it is, so this, you know, evaluates to true console right line and it's going to output that and then it's going to decrement uh, my int so then we'll have four true three still true two true one true and then zero is zero greater than zero no it's not and then so it'll stop execution of that so let's go ahead and test it out we should get five things to our screen or five I guess right right lines I really shouldn't I should be a little more specific uh, one two three four five my int right okay so um, let's go ahead and um, you know we could change this to ten we'll just get more okay so let's do something fun what happens if we comment out this right it's gonna say is my int is ten greater than zero yes is ten greater than zero yes is ten greater than zero and do that a lot actually this is called uh, what's called an infinite loop and we can go ahead and run this and you'll notice uh, I don't know how good the recording software is but this is just going to go over and over and over and over again so uh, again it's called an infinite loop and uh, every good programmer will program one of those uh, eventually so and usually more than one of them <laughs> but anyways um, so let's go ahead and remove that comment now what we'll do is we'll figure out if we can do this while loop, but instead of uh, you know putting this in here, we'll get the uh, the user data um, from the user. So let's go ahead and do, do, do string user data. Okay, let's go ahead and tell the user we want them to enter a number. Console write line write line. Please enter a number. Okay, so we need to do user data equal console dot read line. Okay. So now um, Let's see here. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, uh, we'll do user data here. And obviously that's a string, so it won't work. So if you try to run it, it's gonna give you an error. So instead, we'll go ahead and put my int back there. So what we'll do, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and put my, uh, well, let's see, my int equals and then we're going to do that convert to int 32 and then we'll put the uh, user data variable in here and we'll see what happens here we'll put in 5 it looks like it worked, let's try it again let's do 11 so look at that. It seems, so now what we did is we actually took the, um, the data, converted it into a string, put it in this int, and we put that, that in there. So what happens if we do negative 1? 
right? It doesn't work. Well, how about zero? And if we do one, it should go through once, right? So that seems like it like it works. Um, you can actually do, you can even do this if you want. Um, and run that, but I don't like to do that because I like to declare all my variables up at the top. It makes it easier for me, but that's just me. Um, so anyway, so that's, uh, that's today's lesson. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time we're probably going to be going over some more loops, but uh, you know, go ahead and uh, again play around and, and let, us, let us know what you think and if you like the videos, okay? All right, thank you.